Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a simple modification to your Boss Micro BR80 scroll wheel that will increase its longevity and make it easier to use. Um, in a previous video I've shown how you can disassemble the unit and um, fix the scroll wheel if it becomes inaccurate or it gets bent pins or it gets dirty on the inside and there's another video on that and I'm not going to go through that all again. However, um, one of the issues with this scroll wheel is that as you try to turn it, it's very hard to turn, so you end up having to press down on it a lot to get a grip on it. And pressing down on the scroll wheel is very bad for it because, um, as you'll see in another video uh, that I have where you disassemble the entire unit, what happens is the pins underneath the scroll wheel, internally in the, the device, actually get bent. And that's why you start to lose accuracy on the scroll wheel over time. You'll find a lot of people have that problem with this device is that the uh, scroll wheel s either stops working or it starts to jump up and down. Um, and that can be because it's simply dirty. And in my other video, I show how to clean this unit as well as how to locate those pins and how to bend them, uh, how to get them straightened uh, so that the scroll wheel will work again. But the point is, pushing down on the scroll wheel is particularly bad for it. So this modification actually prevents you from doing that naturally. You just tend not to press down on the scroll wheel nearly as much. So the trick here is to basically take a foot off of a, an old laptop or um, some old electronic device that you might have lying around and um, attach it to the top of the scroll wheel. Now here I've shown the scroll wheel removed from the unit, a uh, disassembled unit. You don't need to do this. You can actually glue it right to the scroll wheel while it's on the unit. Just be careful not to get glue inside the unit, obviously. Um, Basically, I'm just showing this for clarity. All it is is basically gluing a, um, a foot on top of it. Now notice the rounded edges on the top edge. Um, that's actually important. The reason why is, for example, this is a different foot. It has a much more angled top edge. It's not rounded at the top like the other one. And what, as you can see, what happens is, um, as a demonstration here, it, it, as you try to slide your finger around it, your finger won't grip it, and it'll, your finger will actually slide around the top edge. Now this unit, this uh, foot, has a, um, a rounded top edge, and it just allows your finger to grip the edge much better. So when you're trying to scroll with it, it actually grips and it moves much easier. So that's just important to keep in mind when you're searching around um, from old, any of your older devices to find a foot. Try to find one with a rounded edge. Now you can buy one of these feet at Home Depot. Um, and uh, you know, the main thing is is to bring your unit with you and make sure you find one that's slightly smaller than the uh, jog dial. And the reason why I say slightly smaller is you want it to be sl smaller than the dots on it so that you can, it makes it easier to align it uh, centered because you'll have the dots all the way around it and then you can use the dots as a guide to make sure you have it perfectly centered on your jog dial before you glue it on. Also, I've super glued mine on, but what you can do and what I did to try this theory out was I just used some double stick tape and I actually stuck it to the top um, initially and tried that out for a while to make sure I was happy with it and I liked the way it worked. The problem with double stick tape is, is that after a while it'll start to move off and it's much easier to lose. When it's glued on, it stays on very well. Um, um, the uh, super glue will adhere to this very well, it'll be very permanent. Um, the downside of that is that you just gotta make sure that nothing gets caught on that wheel and pulls on it because as you can see, it actually sticks out from the device. So the device isn't as smooth um, and it can get caught on a, a pocket or uh, when you're putting it into a bag or whatever. So something to keep in mind there. Now, if you had double stick tape on it and it gets caught on it, it's just gonna pop right off. And so you're gonna save the unit, protect the unit. So it's a trade off. Another small bonus to this is that you can also turn the wheel by pinching it between two fingers. Um, I find that I do this when I'm trying to be very specific about something. Um, but I still scroll it around with my thumb a lot. Um, but I find that I'm pushing more to the side than I am down. So whether you're using two fingers to scroll this wheel um, or one finger to move it, you're going to be put, putting less pressure downward on this scroll dial with the foot on top of it, which is going to increase the longevity of this scroll wheel. Because if any part of the hardware is going to go it's going to be the scroll wheel on this unit. So any reduction in the pressure on the scroll wheel is going to increase its longevity and its durability over time. Additionally, around the scroll wheel are four buttons. And with 
without the foot on top of this, you're going to find that pushing on those four buttons, you're often going to be pushing on the scroll wheel as well, which again is bad for the scroll wheel. So the nice thing about this raised foot is that you tend to reach over the foot and press the buttons more directly. Now it does make the top button and the left button a little bit harder to press because you have to reach over the wheel, but I think it's worth it just because it prevents you from putting or reminds you not to put pressure directly down on top of the scroll wheel. Um, when it's even, like it is without the, without the, um, without the foot on top, you're much more likely to press on the scroll wheel at the same time you're pressing one of those buttons, which again is bad for the scroll wheel. Well, that's about it. Um, I hope you found this useful. Um, this is a very simple modification. I've had it on my unit for quite a while. I, I really like it. I think it's definitely worth doing. Um, but if you want to try it out, just try it with some do double stick tape and, uh, and give it a shot. I hope you found this video uh, useful and interesting. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And if you, uh, if you get a chance, please subscribe to my uh, channel and take a look at my other videos. Thanks a lot.